Long-running turf war between two rival motorcycle gangs comes to an end with the sound of cell doors slamming. And that's because three members of the Detroit Highwaymen Motorcycle Gang are behind bars tonight. Only Local 12 was in court today for the sentencing of Emmert Andy Earls. Rich Jaffe shows us now how this is the beginning of the end for the Highwaymen. The Detroit Highwaymen's Clubhouse here at 8th and State has been closed since late March, and quite frankly, that makes the entire community safer. For many years, the Cincinnati area was known as Iron Horseman Turf, and apparently it is once again. Emmert Earls has admitted to authorities that he firebombed the Iron Horseman's Covington Clubhouse back in February. Fellow highwayman Ricky Fields also admitted to authorities that he fired a shotgun at the building, and you can still see the remnants of those blasts today on the side of the house. The late night assault on the clubhouse came after years of dangerous back and forth between the two gangs. It all came to a head when highwaymen were caught on surveillance video flooding out of their 8th and State clubhouse. They attacked two iron horsemen, actually stealing one of the motorcycles. Horsemen responded and shot up the highwayman's clubhouse. Following that, Earls and Fields went after the horsemen's Covington hangout. The highwayman attracted so much unwanted law enforcement attention that in late March, the Detroit chapter of the gang sent John Duffy to town to shut down the Cincinnati chapter. At the same time, Cincinnati police and ATF moved on the clubhouse. Shortly after Duffy left, he was pulled over by police and found to be carrying a 45 caliber handgun. Since he was already under federal indictment, that arrest will probably send him back to prison for a long time. In April, we talked with one of the lead investigators. Yeah, we knew that there was a Nashville officer coming to town, um, and we knew that he was on parole, and, and we learned some other things about him as well. Um, when he left here, he committed a traffic violation. He was speeding across the viaduct. One thing led to another, and he was subsequently arrested with a firearm. Emmert Earls was sentenced to eight years behind bars. Ricky Fields, his accomplice, has reportedly accepted a similar deal. In Covington, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. And Ricky Fields is up for sentencing December 9th. We'll let you know what happens with this case. John Duffy is currently in federal custody.